2013, you need, there's going to be a package of reforms that are going to be offered to you from the, the Governor's Commission on Public Safety. And, um, and you know what? That can help stop the way to actually reduce crime. And if we're going to take that approach, uh, it's going to be really ineffective and really expensive. So mandatory minimums are not, because the, the truth of the matter is, right, is that during this entire time period, in the past 15 years, where, where Oregon's crime rates have been going down, 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 it's because actually our national crime rates have been going down. That are going to help us take a longer term, smart approach to trying to, you know, create community. And so again, this graph basically just, it's looks at two things. The, um, and you know, I could have updated it, I should have updated it, but I didn't update it. But the other chief amount is, uh, you know, the, the when you, because we're now in 2012, the patterns here haven't really changed. But anyways, this, this line that's like a solid black line that goes up and up and up, uh, that basically shows you how much money we're paying just on the interest for past prison construction. Because every you know, the, you know, the governor's uh, kind of budget revisions for this February session, he's looking to cut from higher education, is it like three, three and a half million? With, you know, which um, could be a little bit more, but when you add it up, right, that's nowhere near the hundreds of millions of dollars that we could save. Again, when you talk to legislators and say, you know, we've got to stop cutting higher education, we've got to stop these social raises. Non incarceration. We are, our staff, we are non incarceration, we are, our staff, you know, we can't just depend on our staff to do it, we need your help, we need your help to volunteer with us. districts that we're talking about canvassing and, 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 and actually and doing some of the phone banking. People to get involved to make change and I can tell you, y'all are familiar with switch and equity? I worked in the legislature back when and Peter was compelled. I've seen it happen in Oregon, I've seen it happen in Congress and that's how we do it. That is how we do it. Um, so please fill this out. We will follow up with you in the next couple of weeks to figure out what's your availability and we will help figure out how you can plug in in a meaningful way and help us build. Make sure if you do fill out one of those forms that you've given us your information so that we can get on the sign-up sheet. We're just going to match up your name on these sign-up sheets afterwards. Thank you. So that's